Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the Click PLC Analog Input Nonlinear Scaling. Now the Click PLC has automatic linear scaling for the analog inputs and outputs. What if the analog input or output is not linear? How do you handle this in the PLC? Look at the following tank. We will measure the height which is linear, but the volume will not because of this, the shape of the tank. We will look at an application to determine the volume in this tank. This will be based on the height of the liquid in the tank. We will then scale this nonlinear volume of the tank to display the actual volume. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. What are analog signals? Analog signals refer to the measurement range instead of a discrete on-off signal. This range can represent many things like speed, distance, pressure, etc. In our application, the analog input signal will be the level in the tank. The sensor in a tank will read the level of liquid. This is linear from 0 to 120 inches. Linear means that if we were to plot this on a graph, the line would be straight. Click PLC Analog Specifications We are using a Click PLC C2-08DR-4VC discrete and analog combination module. Looking at the analog input specifications, for the voltage, we can see the following. The input will accept voltage or current. This is selectable. The voltage range is 0 to 5 volt DC. This must match the sensor that we are using for the tank. This response or conversion time is 50 milliseconds. This is the time required for the analog to digital converter to output the 12 bit resolution. What is meant by 12-bit resolution? Resolution refers to the analog to digital converter. The number of bits specified is binary. So a 12-bit resolution would be 1111, 1111, 1111 binary, which is equal to 4095 decimal. So the decimal value ranges from 0 to 4095 and the voltage input is 5 volt DC, so the resolution is 5 volt DC divided by 4096. This is equal to 0 0.00122 volt DC per step. Each of the 4096 steps is an increment of this 0 0.00122 volts DC. Now our analog input for the tank will measure 0 to 120 inches. So if we take 120 inches divided by 4096, we get 0 0.02929 inches per step. So the accuracy of our tank level signal conversion will be plus and minus 0 0.02929 inches for the measurement. You must also consider the accuracy of the sensor itself in any application. Now to help you convert from binary to decimal, we can use the Windows Calculator. So when you call up the Windows Calculator, select Programmer from the Programmer mode from the menu, and then select Binary, B-I-N, for the numbering system. We can enter the 12 ones on the keyboard. The results will be shown in hexadecimal, decimal, and octal. Click PLC Analog Setup. Call up the system configuration window in the Click programming software. This can be selected under CPU configuration in the function tab in the navigation window. You can also set this under the main menu, Setup, System Configuration. Select the button, Configure, under slot 0 in the system configuration window. We'll be wiring our analog input to the first channel. Our input is selected for voltage 0 to 5. The input range is 0, 0.0 to 5.0. 0. 
The scaled values are 0.0 to 120.0 inches to represent our tank level. Select OK to return to the system configuration. Select OK to return to the programming window. Our analog setup and linear scaling are complete. We will be using an analog input simulator to generate the 0 to 5 volt DC signal. Analog linear math equation. We now have our analog input set up and scaled to give us 0 to 120 inches for our tank level. We must now determine the volume of our tank. The volume based on level is not linear. Looking at the above chart, we can approximate the volume using three separate linear lines. Now the more lines you use, the better approximation of the volume. Now the following formula can be used for scaling the linear line. Y equals MX plus B. And Y, this will be the scaled result. M, uh, this multi multiplier converts your data to the scaled value. It will be Y's full range divided by X's full range. X, this is the analog data that you are converting. And B, this is the offset or difference between the starting points of X and Y. Now, depending on the level of the tank, we will be used different math equations for the lines. We can now write our ladder logic PLC program for the click PLC. Click PLC ladder logic nonlinear analog program. Now the comparison is used to determine the linear line segment we will use. So if it's less than or equal to 30, then we use this math equation, which is the y equals mx plus b. If it's greater than 30 and less than or equal to 90, then we use this one, which is again based on the same linear equation. Or if we on the scaled value is greater than 90, then we're using the final um, math linear scale equation. So that's how we bring up different segments. And if you have more segments, then you would just continuously use that compare and use the appropriate math instruction to uh, activate that section to get your linear signal. So right now what you can do is we already have our program uh, sent over to our PLC and we can actually look at our hardware here and you will see that we have our click PLC right here and then we have our signal generator located right here which is providing a uh, 0 to 5 volt uh, signal into our analog input here and we had the if we looked at the specs before, we saw that we had the wiring diagram of how that analog signal is wired in. So let's uh, take a look and go through the different points. So once we get up to um, up to 30, we're using the first one. And you can see that highlighted right now on that math equation. So just about there. So now we're around the 30 mark and we're reading right now about 33,800. Back it off one and you can see 33 so we're we're right in the ballpark of where we should be in terms of our signal once we go above 30 you can see now we're in our middle section and we are using that uh, equation now or that linear line so let's go let's take it up to 60 There we go. So around the 60 mark, and you can see 
that we have um, 12,504. So right in line where we want that line to be. And now let's go back up to 90 now. So right in close to the 90 now, and we have 21,000. And we just went over a little bit. So right about there. So again, we're right on uh, where we need to be. Now, once we go above 90 to 120 inches, then we have that last section that we deal with. And you can see here that we are actually using that last section and we're still uh, increasing our volume. So let's go back up to the maximum, which would be the 120 inches. And 120 inches would be five volts going in. And then we have 25,000 or 24,999.99, which is very close to uh, what we are calculating. And then we can just go all the way back down and you can see how it go passes through each of those segments on our way down. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.